Hi boys and girls, hello parents, Pastor Chuck. Welcome to the very next episode of our Sunday School lesson. Now today is a special one because we're going to be talking about Mother's Day. And we have an object lesson to help you remember how important Mother's Day is. So just like apples that we eat every, eat every day and this pot of taters becomes this bowl of mashed potatoes. Where did you get mashed potatoes from? Also. We just, we just made it, you didn't see? No. Well, the thing about mashed potatoes and apples is we eat them every day and sometimes it gets a little bit, um, too, a little bit too familiar, right? We, sometimes we want something different. But guess what? We have mothers that are with us every single day. And sometimes we can take them for granted for the things that they do for us, such as healing our boo-boos and bringing us to places that are fun, feeding us. Can you think of something that mothers do? Laundry. Laundry. Dishes. Dishes and all kinds of, all kinds of different things. But it's important to remember our mothers because this is their special day. And, and they, they do these things all the time for us, not because they're expecting something back, but because they love us. And God put them in charge, just as well as our fathers, to raise us and to love us. So this is the time that we want to remember mothers. Will you remember your mother now? As you're eating your bowl of mashed potatoes? Yes. Good. Thank you, boys and girls. It's children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Ephesians 6 1. Children, can you say, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right? Okay, ready? Children, obey. Children, obey. Children, obey. Your parents in the Lord. Your parents in the Lord. Your parents in the Lord. For this is right. For this is right. For this is right. Scout and Fluffy, can you say it together? Children, Children obey. Children, Children obey. obey. Your parents in the Lord. Your, Your parents, parents in, in the, the Lord. Lord. For this is right. For, For this, this is, is right. right. This is the story of Ruth. A Mother's Day story. It comes from the book of Ruth in the Bible. In a place called Moab, there lived a nice family. Elimelech, his wife Naomi, and their two sons moved there because there was more food than, there were, than where they used to live. After a while, Elimelech died. But Naomi wasn't alone. She still had two sons. Her sons got married, but after ten years, they died too. At last, Naomi still had her sons' wives to keep her company. Their names were Orpah and Ruth. Naomi called her sons' wives and told them, I am going back to where I used to live. I would like you also to go back to your family where you used to live. May God show you kindness as you have shown me. All the women cried and hugged each other because they were such good friends. Orpah didn't want to leave Naomi, but Naomi told her not to worry. She would be fine. So Orpah left to go back to her family. But no matter what Naomi said to Ruth, Ruth would not leave. Don't ask me to leave. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your friends will be my friends, and your God will be my God. So Ruth and Naomi returned to Bethlehem together. It was a good thing that Ruth went with Naomi because Bethlehem was very far away 
and Naomi couldn't have traveled all that by herself. Notice that Ruth never complains, but is a good friend to Naomi. She wasn't expecting anything in return, she just wanted to help. Okay. When they got there, Ruth decided that she should do some kind of work. It was harvest time, so she worked in the fields, following behind the harvesters and picking up any barley that they had dropped. The owner of the field came by to greet the harvesters and notice Ruth in the field. He asked one of the harvesters who she was. She came back from Moab with Naomi, that, that's all I know. Lucky for Ruth, the owner of the field was Boaz. He was a kind man who believed in God. He had also been related to Elimelech, Naomi's husband that had died. Boaz went to talk to Ruth. He said to her, don't go work in any other field, but stay here with the other servant girls. I will make sure you are safe, and whenever you are thirsty, go and drink from the water jars. When Ruth heard this, she bowed down to Boaz and asked, Why are you being so nice to me? I'm not even, I'm not even from here. Boaz replied, I know what you've done for Naomi. You left your family and moved to a place you've never been. May the Lord reward you for your kindness. Ruth thanked Boaz and continued with, with her work in the hot sun. Boaz even ordered her, his workers to drop extra barley so Ruth could have more for herself. Ruth took all the barley home and shared what she had with Naomi. And eventually, Ruth married Boaz and everyone was happy. Ruth blessed Naomi. Instead of leaving her, she, she decided to bless her, just as we should bless our mothers. And that is the story of Ruth. Hi, boys and girls. It's craft time. Yay. Yay. Hi, Miss Angie. What craft will we be making? We're going to make a little sheep. Ah. Aww. Some people say I'm a sheep dog. <laughs> She's sheepy. We're going to make a sheepy. It's from this yarn. Ooh. Ah. But I'm not going to make you do it because it's too hard for you kids. Yeah. I got these. I like to learn. Me too. There you go. It's pre-made. How do we start? Yeah. How do we start? Well, I'm going to each give you glue and we need four tiny little black pom-poms oh. now here's one it looks like my nose <laughs> yes it does scout two three four one two three four cliffy how about you count one two too much. Take away one. We need only four for the legs. You see? Oh. oh. So, four legs, pom-poms. And then you each need a head. There you go, Fluffy. Ooh. Here you go, Scout. Cool. Guys, I think we're missing the googly eyes for its eyes. Uh oh. I guess we'll go on the adventure, finding them later. I hope you're not going to take mine. No, Scout, I'm not going to take your eyes. Woo, good. We'll just go find them later. And, Mr. 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 John usually helps us to know when we can buy these things. So, Miss Angie, what if boys and girls and parents want to purchase these things online or get the material to make it? What do they do? There's a link below for the easy step if they want it already pre-made and just to put it together. 
Or there's, or they could just make it from yarn. Ah. Which is a thick yarn. And how would they put it together? Well, they could use hot glue or they could use Elmer's glue. Ah. Or school glue or whatever it's called. Elmer's glue. I just wouldn't eat it if I were you boys and girls. No, we do not eat glue, Scout. Well, thank you, Miss Angie. I can't wait to go home and make my own sheep. Yay! You, you want to try to make it? Yay! Yay! You want to glue it? Yeah! Okay, glue it. Where's the glue? Oh, here he goes. Sniffy? 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 Good job, Scruffy. Now just I'm Fluffy. Oh, I mean Fluffy. I'm so sorry. I keep messing up your name today. Uh, I just forgot with your twin sister. Though she's pink. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> Sometimes they call me Scoop. Well, it could be because I like to move really fast. Mm. All right. Did you put your legs there? I did. Let me see. Oh, no. I think you forgot to put more glue on it. Uh. Good job, Scout. Thank you for helping me, Miss Angie. How's yours coming together? Which reminds me, probably, boys and girls, it'd be good if you have a parent or a guardian that can help you at home. Mm-hmm. Here's your legs. Ah, uh, very nice. My own little sheepy. Yes, your little sheepy. Well, thank you, Miss Angie. I can't wait till we get, get home and play with our sheep. Yay! Enjoy, boys and girls. Hey, Miss Angie. Hi, Scout. Um, I kind of forgot, but I bought you something. You bought me something? Well, yeah, because you're kind of like a mother. You're a mother to us all. A Sunday school kids and puppets. Yeah? Yeah. People family's garden. Yeah? Yeah. I think you live with me. Well, so you picked from my garden? Oh, Scout, that was so thankful. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> I just wanted to remember you on Mother's Day. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Let me give you a kiss. <sighs> Thank you, Miss Hanchi. You're welcome. Hello, hey, everyone. Uh and welcome to the big Q&A. Today we have... Well, I'm Mr. John. And... I am Reginald. And welcome. So today... That is Vanessa. Thank you, Reginald. You're welcome. So today we have how many contestants? I think four. That's right. So we have, first up... <laughs> Scruffy! And Who then... Is Scout? I was about to say his name for the second contestant. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. <laughs> second contestant... Scout! Yay! Woo! Yay! Third Yay contestant is... Ryan. Ryan. And who's our fourth contestant last and final? Buddy the Bear. Woo! So... How does this game work? I love games. It reminds me of when I was a child, a wee lad, learning about history and all the different lessons. John, do you know how this game works? Well, I believe the contestants are going to have to answer questions based on things that mothers used to say. Oh. Oh, my wee mother. She used to say a lot. 
So? When she still had her teeth. Reginald. Sorry. So, who's gonna go first? I believe first up is Scout versus Scruffy. All right, it's let's see how this goes. Fill in the blank. Ah. Ooh. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Okay, ready? I'm telling you for the blank uh, time. Last? I was gonna say first. Okay. Don't blink me. Come up there. Make. Oh, man. Blink with your mouth closed. Chew. Wait until your blink gets home. Dad. Okay, now the mystery question. What do moms hate doing? Making cheesecake. I think Scruffy wins. Yeah. What do you think? Scruffy. Good game. And now we have Ryan and Mr. What's your name? I'm sorry. I, I think that's Bobby Bear. Bobby Bear. Hello. Now, let's the game begin. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. All right. Can you please blink your room? Um, Clean your room. Good job. Can you blink help me with blink? Oh, great. Please. Okay, let me try another one. Can you help me blink the dishes? Clean. Uh. Go blink your father. Ask. Okay, Ryan got that one. Oh, good job, Ryan. Uh. Maybe we stumped her. <laughs> I think so too. Uh, it's time to go to. It's time to go to. Lunch. Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, Chuck E. Cheese is not one of them. Lunch is one of them. Go to... Bed. <laughs> Bed is the second one. What's the thing that we... Go to your room? Okay, that's the third one. What's... Your dog? No! <laughs> What's the main one that you don't like to go to? The dentist? Okay. Uh, the doctor? It's school. Oh. Well, but you and guys are all right about that. I like school. Surprising. I don't know what she's talking about. All right. Go blank the lawn. No. All right, Ty. Mm. Go blank your sibling. Uh. Babysit? Correct. Uh. So, who won? I thought the judges decided. But she did decide one. Yeah. The bear. Uh. Yay! Woo! The judges have the final decision. Well, good play. Good job. Okay. Yeah, it's the final round. Good luck. It's the final I round. I don't need luck. I got God. Hmm. What do moms <coughs> like the best? Food. Mother's Day cards. Okay. Well, let's think of something else. One more time. Flowers. Chores. Yeah. You doing chores? Let's see. What? Time do you eat lunch? I was gonna say when, when we're hungry. What's the easiest meal for a mom to do? Mashed potatoes. Breakfast. What for breakfast? Eggs. Pancakes. Cereal. 
Menorah Weller. Pop Tarts. Where does she like to go shopping? When she wants new clothes. When there's no food in the house to fill our, our, our bellies. When do you wake up for school? Six in the morning. Seven. Judges, what do you think? Who won? Vanessa, you first. What was your opinion of everything you saw today? I think it was a tie on all of them. Because they did really well and they know their mothers really well. I agree. That sometimes there are right and wrong answers, but other times it's a matter of opinion. What my mother does could be different from what your mother does. Right, Reginald? Yes, I certainly agree with that. Mothers certainly have different capabilities and skills. But I think the winner should be me. But you didn't even participate in the game. You were the host. Oh. Yeah, the judge, Reginald. I didn't play. No. Well, come nobody asked me. You said, can you be the host? Oh, yes. <clears throat> I'm the host. When do we begin? Reginald. Yes? You're the judge. It's almost the end. You get to decide who you think should win. Oh. <clears throat> I think the winner today is Scout. Wait, he wasn't in the final <laughs> section, was he? Nope. Okay. Then I give it to Scruffy. Well, you heard it, folks. Also, I think Reginald needs a nap. Good night. I'm Vanessa. And I think that's the end for our lesson today. But Vanessa, <laughs> you're the judge. And so is John. What happened? You took a... I think Reginald fell asleep again. Yeah. I know. Vanessa yes. and John, say who you think won. I agree. I think Scruffy de deserves it. I think everyone won on this round because they know their mother's best. And it depends on the opinions and how they were raised. That's true. Well... That, and you know what? In God's kingdom, we're all winners. Exactly, John. But the winner of this show is... Scruff. A tie! A tie! But Scruffy's... Scruffy, because everybody was saying Scruffy. Yeah, we'll go with Scruffy. All right. Isn't this what I said? You said Scout. Oh. Sorry. But then he said Scruffy. Even Mr. John and Vanessa make mistakes. And... Me too. Sometimes. Occasionally. Okay. And the winner is... Scruffy! 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 Good job, Scruffy. Thank you. Your prize is to go home and... Spend time with your mom. Yes. Don't I get a real prize? Chocolate and roses for your mother? You can have an apple. I'll keep the chocolate and roses. All right, then. Okay, I'll keep the apples. And oh. this delicious drink. And where do I get them? You can pick them up down the street. Uh, take a left, two rights, and up the stairs. I'll give it to you. The password is... Okay, he needs a nap. Really? Maybe. He needs a nap. Good night. Yeah, one of our hosts is always taking naps, so don't mind him. Oh boy. Yeah, sorry about that. He's making me think I should take a nap. All right then. Oh, what happened? Oh, what? He took a nap. Good night, folks, and that was Reginald for Mother's Day quiz. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Good night and God bless. Bye.